You guys ever try vaping? This shit sucks ass. Today I'm going to be looking at the Logitech G Pro, one of their uh, wired mice. This one is designed for pro gamers, I assume, with the pro moniker. Um, this mouse came out a few years ago, or last year, I don't remember. Um, I bought this, I got this on sale for, I think, $49, 50 bucks right now, which is a pretty good price. I know they have basically this version coming out in wireless, and I think that's probably why they're discounting a lot of their shit right now. I like the packaging on this. It's very, um, minimal. It's kind of got embossed, uh, shit on the back. Um, a few things about this mouse, it's got the PMW3366 sensor, same as the G502, the last mouse I looked at. Also goes up to 1200 DPI, again that'll just mostly have to do with the sensor, so like, it's the same sensor, it's going to have a lot of the same settings, zero smoothing, and zero acceleration. But they just tend to advertise this um, because it's a pro mouse, so they put all the um, fucking stats for the sensor on it as opposed to the G502, which you couldn't find even like any of the things about it, which I thought was kind of interesting. Uh, this one only has six buttons, and that's one of the reasons why I kind of like it as opposed to the 502, which I looked at last time. Um, and the other thing I really like about this mouse is it is only 85 grams, so it is one of the lighter mouse on the market right now, um, as opposed to some heavier mice, like the G502 is well over 100. There's a few lighter mice than the, than this um, on the market right now. I would say the Final Mouse um, Light or whatever one they're doing right now, that one's like insanely light. I really wanna get my hands on one of those, um, but I haven't yet, so uh, let's get into it. Again, you got kind of minimal Logitech packaging. It's kind of what they've been coming to be known for recently. Um, you have, again, the same kind of aspect as the 502 where the cord is kind of shaped and it kind of just fell out. So it's even less minimal. It doesn't have that like backing plate thing that it had um, on the 502, but the cord is wrapped around the outside of this clear plastic so it doesn't tangle, um, which is kind of nice. You don't get any kinks in it when you open the box. So you got the mouse here. Let me get this coffee out of the way. I don't know what this is. So you got this piece of cardboard with the Logitech logo in it for some reason. And you got instructions and, oh, look at that. If you are buying this mouse, this Logitech Pro mouse, and you don't know to plug it into a USB hole in your computer, just don't buy it. Just, this isn't the mouse for you, you should buy a different mouse. Um, this is generally marketed as their pro gaming mouse. Um, I've seen a lot of esports people advertising this thing. So right off the bat, I really like the clicks on this. It definitely feels different than the 502. I'd say it's a little stiffer, almost. Feels pretty good. Um, I really like that. The scroll wheel does not move left and right. It does not have a left and right scroll, which I find, which I really like. I I don't see that use that in mice, so I don't really uh, find a purpose for it. Um, scroll wheel feels good. You got your DPI shift button here, just like a normal mouse. And this one only has two buttons on the, is that the right side? That's the right side of the mouse. Look at that. Um, you got back and forward. Those feel really good as two, very tactical. They go in a little farther than I would expect in the mouse. Now for lighting on this, again, I've said this in my G502 review, I don't use lighting on my peripherals for the most part. I think it looks kind of stupid, um, but you have the, Logitech G logo that lights up and you have this band around the outside that also lights up. Um, you got the four Teflon feet on the bottom, sensor kind of centered right in the middle. Um, this is a much smaller mouse. I, my hands, as I've described before, are fat and big. So I kind of, am, I like a little bit larger mice. This mouse might be a little bit too small for me. Um, I love the weight of it. It feels super light. But again, uh, you have this Logitech cable. I'll get into that in a little bit later. I apologize if this is a little overexposed. I'm trying out lighting for the first time. Should be interesting. What else do I have to say about this mouse, really? I don't, I don't know. What else is there to say about this? Generally, if you're looking into mice and you're looking into the Logitech G Pro, you know a little bit about mice. This will serve your purposes for the most part. Like, 
I don't know who wouldn't like this. I have to say the shape is my biggest concern right now. Um, Logitech, I generally buy their stuff because I like the shape of their mouse, their mice. This mouse, as you can kind of see, is a little bit uh, humps more towards the back and sloping down towards the front, which for my hand is maybe not the most comfortable shape. I'm gonna have to look into that and I'll kind of, if I end up doing another mouse review, then it probably means that this one was not uh, up to my standards for comfortability because just if you play for a long period of time, um, you tend to, your hand gets cramped. I love the all black. I love that they're going just straight black with their peripherals now, I'm not putting any of the Logitech blue on it and just leaving you the options for lights if you wanna do that. Again, I got another letter from my ex-wife. Uh, this is the, <laughs> she's included another letter in this, which I found kind of interesting. Um, let's see what uh, this one says. <clears throat> is this a different computer mouse than the one that was sent last week? Yes, this is a, yeah, Karen, this is a different mouse, all right? I didn't like the one last week. Um, so I got a different one because I want the one I want. Um, if, you know, if you guys noticed in the last video, she put Love Karen on the bottom of it. This one just says her name. So that's not a good sign, um, I would think. Let me, let me know in the comments if you think that's a good sign or not. I don't think it is. It's a little bit disconcerting. Um, overall, yeah. So, <clears throat> overall, what do I think of this mouse? Um, this is a really good mouse if you want light mice. Um, again, it is 85 grams, super light, well under 100. You got a little bit of cord. I don't use a mouse bungee. I don't buy, own a mouse bungee. I don't intend to buy one. It's just a little bit too much in terms of uh, getting into this sort of shit that I want to. Um, I think the shape is a little bit off for Logitech. I, it's supposed to be for pro gamers, but I can see extended periods of time, my hand starting to get cramped using this shape. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about that. Other concern I have, again, Logitech. Why these cords? Why these gigantic cords? You make an 85 gram mouse, and then you put a cord that probably weighs a fucking 200 grams. Like, Again, I understand you want to feel premium. Just give me a, ca a rubber cable. Like, that's all I want. I don't understand why you have to put this gigantic fucking braided cable shit on your mice. Um, but overall, very happy. Excited to start using this mouse and uh, try it out. Um, a little bit concerned about uh, the state of my marriage. Um, she seems to be getting a little upset that I'm sending this stuff over there, but Karen, if you're watching this, um, you have Amazon Prime sent to that address that I'm still currently paying for. So I will use that to send these mice with free shipping. So until that changes, or until you let me change it to this shit apartment address, this will continue to get sent to the house. And I'm not going to apologize for that because I'm not paying for fucking shipping. That's all I really have to say. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.